Hey, what's up guys, it's Gumpy here, and welcome to this week's Team of the Week predictions. It is Team of the Week 38, and I'm not going to lie, people don't seem to care as m about Team of the Week as much anymore, because obviously, Team Season is out, and that is obviously going to take over all the Team of the Week hype. Anyway, we're going to do Team of the Week predictions nevertheless, and in the comments below, let me know who you think could get any from this week, and if you could leave like this video, that would be absolutely awesome. Anyway, let's get things kicked off. No potential informs this week, we're just going to go straight for my predictions. So we're going to kick things off with Tekken. Now, it was quite hard to pick the goalkeeper again but this guy made multiple saves kept clean sheet but the match did end as a draw normally i don't like putting goalkeepers in if the match ended as a draw because you know it's a bit more significant if obviously they keep clean sheet and they win the game but there uh, we're going to go for tekken nevertheless up next another silver defender we've got marinos the greek who got a goal kept clean sheet in a 2-0 win for his side i believe it's in the belgian pro league yeah it is so uh, yeah actually it looks like a an okay card you know it's got a good bit of pace in it which is always very very nice moving on chica Brazilian centre-back actually looks decent to be fair. Good physical attributes on him. Goal on a clean sheet for him. Very, very nice looking silver card in my opinion. Martin Linz. Now this guy got a goal assist in a 6-1 win for his side. I have got another player from the same team. I'm do, not too sure if both will get it, but um, I just didn't really know which one to drop. So we've gone for Martin Linz in defence. We've got this guy, Van Bloom. From the Russian league now although yeah the game was like a close match and he only got one goal he did score the goal that gave CSK a Champions League spot so it could be a very key goal and hopefully EA will pick up on that and give Van Bloom the inform. Bonaventura up next this guy managed to get himself two goals in a 3-1 win for AC Milan and obviously this would be a position change card as well his original card is a left-sided one so it would actually be pretty nice to have a central one for him and overall it actually looks like a decent cheap card to be fair will be very cheap and uh, for those attributes not too bad in my opinion you guys know I do like my position change in forms moving on then this guy Uzi Yakup. Is that a good attempt or is that an absolutely dreadful attempt? Got himself a goal and an assist in a 2-0 win for Besiktas. Once again, looks like a fairly well-rounded card. <laughs> I put 78s on nearly every stat there, but uh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Should be pretty cheap. Uh, so yeah, not too bad at all. Chemity, this guy, perfect link to Chikawi. This one could actually be pretty popular. Obviously, yeah, won't sell uh, too much because of... Um, team season being out and a lot of packs being open but still I'm sure he'll be fairly popular because a lot of people will want to pick him up just because of that perfect link to Chikawi. This guy got two goals and an assist in a 4-3 win and he should be one of the ones that definitely get it this week in my opinion. Now Kandrev is up next. I'm not too sure whether he played striker or right wing but he got himself a goal and an assist in a 4-2 win. Would be a probably the best card in the team of the week. Would be a second in form as well and hopefully it's a striker because that'll make it probably the best card um, in the team of the week in my opinion. Ibrahim Abalde. Now this card to me, although it hasn't got the best shooting, pace and physical, not bad, not bad. Dribbling's a bit poop, but uh, still not too bad. Two goals, one assist in a 5-1 win for him. I card this would be a second in form. Two goals and one assist in a 4-3 win. Pretty much should get it. Not a bad looking card. Onto the bench, we've got this guy. We're just going to call him Ivan for now. 10 saves, clean sheet, 2-0 win for him. Not too shabby. Kevin Ellis, this guy actually looks like a really, really good bronze. One goal, an assist, a clean sheet in a 4-0 win for Sporting KC. As I said, actually looks pretty damn solid for a bronze card. Lustenberg, goal, assist, and a clean sheet in a 3-0 win. Elianusi grabbed himself a hatch in a 6-1 win. This is the other player from that same team. Probably pretty much a dead set and one. And also, he's a 5-star skiller. So, um, yeah, he might be fairly popular among silver skillers. Diabang, what a name. Three goals for him in a 3-0 win. I believe he came off the bench as well. So, pretty impressive. Nice bit of pace on this card. We've got Beric, hat-trick for him in a 5-0 win. And finally, Huang, who got two goals in a 2-1 win. Overall, not the best looking team to be, but obviously team season will be out alongside it, so not too bad. But uh, hopefully, I'll be able to pop that Kandre over if it's a striker card, because that looks pretty awesome. Anyway, in the comments below, let me know who you think could get any form this week. And if you could leave a like on this video, that would be absolutely awesome. Have a very good day, guys. Adios. Hey, what's up guys, Scampi here, and as you can see, we are over on the Xbox today, and we have got a legend review. I have not done a legend review in quite a while, but as you can see, we have the brand new legend, Stoikov, and we have to owe a massive thank you to a guy called Lewis, who was kind enough to lend me his account so I could do this review. So uh, yeah, make sure you go check him out, his link is in the description below. Anyway, let's talk about this card. One of the best things you will notice, it does look like an awesome card, but I do want to talk about the price. His price range at the moment is 300 to 600k. There's a reason he's not...